No, no, no. Not God bless America. God damn America. That's in the Bible for killing innocent people. God damn America. We cannot democratize the market economy unless we also deepen democracy. President Obama must be defeated in the coming election. He has failed to advance the progressive cause in the United States. He has spent trillions of dollars to rescue the moneyed interests and left workers and homeowners to their own devices. President Obama is spending your tax dollars to create jobs. How's he doing? You've heard of Solyndra. They took $535 million in taxpayer loan guarantees and went bankrupt. But that's not even half the story. Obama's Department of Energy has handed out billions of dollars in loans and grants. First Solar, $3 billion in taxpayer-backed loan guarantees. Now they're cutting jobs and their stock is near all-time lows. Ecotality received $126 million in taxpayer money, lost $45 million and currently under investigation. Sun Power, more than a billion dollars in loan guarantees, lost half a billion last year, laying off workers. More than $16 billion have gone to companies like Solyndra that are linked to big Obama and Democrat donors. The Inspector General said contracts were steered to friends and family. Obama is giving taxpayer money to big donors and then watching them lose it. Good for them, bad for us. He has subordinated the broadening of economic and educational opportunity to the important but secondary issue of access to health care in the mistaken belief that he would be spared a fight. $1.8 trillion. That's the new number coming out of the Congressional Budget Office, estimating the cost of President Obama's hallmark health care plan. When it was signed into law, the forecast was for less than a trillion dollars. Being off uh, to this kind of magnitude um, is, is professional, uh, is professionally criminal. Uh, this is uh, double the cost. Trip Baird works with Heritage Action, a conservative organization. He opposed the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, saying it would cost way more than the White House reported. He says Democrats employed accounting tricks to shrink the figures. I think this goes to prove to everyone uh, who was fighting this debate uh, over two years ago um, that the White House doesn't have any credibility when they when they project numbers. Uh, this is uh, this is only one of many cases. Experts who predicted that the White House's health care reforms would be much costlier say the legislation was adjusted to squeeze the bill through Congress. In another blow to Obama health care reforms, experts are now saying that less people will be covered when the new laws are established than was once predicted. New laws were created to cover an additional 32 million uninsured Americans. But now the actual figure may be 2 million people less than that, still leaving more than 20 million Americans uninsured. He has disguised his surrender with an empty appeal to tax justice. He has delivered the politics of democracy to the rule of money. He has reduced justice to charity. His policy is financial confidence and food stamps. say is we have more people on food stamps today than ever before in history. President Obama is the most successful food stamp president in American history. We need a program to put 14 million Americans back to work. We're committed to creating jobs. There, the Democrats are committed to killing jobs. And you decide which future do you want. Do you want paychecks or do you want food stamps? I, I he has evoked a politics of handholding. But no one changes the world without a struggle. Unless he is defeated, there cannot be a contest 
for the reorientation of the Democratic Party as the vehicle of a progressive alternative in the country. There will be a cost for his defeat in judicial and administrative appointments. Only a political reversal can allow the voice of democratic prophecy to speak once again in American life. Its speech is always dangerous. Its silence is always fatal. No, no, no. Not God bless America. God damn America. That's in the Bible for killing innocent people. God damn America.